Hi guys, welcome to Linux R YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video we will talk about Linux shell variables in shell scripting. But before we start the lab session we need to understand few points which is what is shell variable and their use cases. So basically variable are important except of any programming language. Without variable you will not be able to store any required data. With the help of variable data stored at a particular memory address and then it can be accessed as well as modified when required. In other words, simple words, variable let you store and read and access and manipulate data. Variable is the label that has a value which will be used to configure the shell and environment, right? So here I'm going to demonstrate you how to check configure your own variables in shell scripts. Let's do the lab session. Here you can see I am on Linux terminal and let me show you the OS release version first of all. So uh, let's check the OS version. So I'll go with etc release. Currently you can see I am using rel 9.3. Let's talk about the types of variable. How many types of variable in Linux shell? There are two types of variable that exist in shell scripting. The system defined variable or known as environment variable or second is user defined variable let's talk about system defined variable first of all these are predefined variables that are set by the optic system or shell environment and these variables are loaded when you open a new bash shell or bash session they contain information about the system configuration and user environment such as your user home directory current working directory and shell type and many more so systems variable are typically written in all caps and some common example like your path variable or home variable or user variable so if you want to view all the system defined variable then we can run print env command print env environment so these all are the you can see the variables which is in uppercase and having the value right or you can also type env command env pipe less you can also go with environment variables so these all are the environment variable having with their own value so let me show you some very common very useful example cases of um, system defined variable right let's go with echo dollar bash underscore version so echo is basically used to display the string dollar is basically read the value of variable and bash underscore version is my var variable Basically, it will show the display, the name of your current bash version. Similarly, I can replace with another one, PWD, very common. Present working directory, it displays the path of your present working directory. I can also go with another value, OS type. So, it simply displays the name of the operating system. So, currently, I am using Linux operating system, right? We can also use very, very important, which is path variable path variable is very important the path variable contains a list of call and separated directory that contains program they are important they are these these are very very important variable whenever we I am I'm going to type any kind of command it will look inside first of all this location then this location then this this and keep going on even we can increase even we can add it our own uh, path variable also but these these are very important which is used by the system itself right Let's move to the other variable which is user defined variable. So these variable that you define yourself, they're known as user defined variable within your shell script. They are used to store value that can be referenced and manipulated throughout the script. User defined variable can be assigned value using the assignment operator is equal to and access using the dollar symbol, right? Followed by the variable name. So user defined variable can contain letter made in the numbers and underscore but they cannot begin with the number. Let's create our own user defined variable. So declaring or setting the value of variable in a fairly simple, the basic syntax is first of all variable name and is equal to give the value. Suppose I give the red hat is equal to Linux. That's it. So here red hat acting as a variable having the value of Linux. How to check? Echo dollar red hat. You can see I'm getting the result. Even if I change the value of red hat variable, I'll get the new value. Let's see. If I say red hat OS and I'll hit it one more time, you can see I'm getting new result. But this variable value can be accessible only current shell. If I change to the other shell or move any new child shell, then it will not print the value. 
let's try suppose uh, if i'm moving to the ss shell i simply type sh and if i try to run eco dollar red hat you will notice i'm not getting any value here right so how to make it globally for all kind of environment so for that one we can use export command in linux like i say create one more h e w l o hello is equal to 10 that's it so here export is a built in command of bash shell script it it is used to mark variable and functions to be passed to child process also let me try go dollar hello h e w l o you can see i'm getting the result and if i quickly move to the other shell just like few minutes ago i have done that so if i go eco dollar shell eco dollar hello sorry not shell hello see i got the result also so this is how by using simple export command i make it globally right that is very useful when you go with linux command line tools now let's talk about some valid and unvalid variable name pattern variable can begin with the numerical alpha uh, can be begin with alpha numerical character or underscore followed by letter number or underscore like let let me give some examples suppose i type f i r s t first is equal to 10 this is okay i can also use uh, as you see you can the second where this is also okay that is also okay these are the valid naming pattern even i can get the result also if i go with echo echo dollar underscore f i r s t and dollar s e c o n d second bar oh i got the value but variable cannot start with the number and do not use a special character while defining a variable name means i may i mean to say that t h i r d third something like var is equal to 30 like uh, like backslash var is equal to 30 that is wrong pattern okay the command not found something like that i cannot start with like this with the number third no it's again wrong even i cannot use any any kind of special character like dollar third variable wrong these are the these are the uh, yeah, wrong para, wrong pattern while you configure your variable right if the value of variable contain spaces then you can use code stem right suppose i define the variable my var my var is equal to i said uh, ram sir something like that so here yeah, i am using double quotes when when it's quotes what is quotes uh, what is quotes basically uh, their type and their use case how many how many way we can define i will create separate video for that one but currently i'm focusing on variable and we we should know one thing that if we have a uh, contain spaces are there we can quote them simply with the double quotes right so if i go eco dollar my way you can notice i can call the value so i hope the picture is clear how to define with valid naming pattern right now the next point is that how many ways we can call the variable value on bash or search script one method we are following from starting like dollar and the variable name right let's get a, another new variable like s e a r c h search is equal to apple right search is a variable one second search is a variable and apple is a value so let's call the uh, this variable value by using the simple echo command echo dollar s e a r c h see i got the result but another method is also available in double curly braces what happens if i go with double curly braces like this or single curly braces right like here i'm getting also the same result then why it is it is and what the use case so basically to prevent the mistake due to other shell expansion you can put the name of the variable in curly braces and you can also use concat them and expand them also suppose i want to add some additional string in the variable result i cannot use in the simple dollar case let me show you suppose i want to go eco dollar search say suppose red hat right i want to add it something here in my result see i am not getting any i am not getting any result because this time system look for this entire as a variable this thing that this is entire a variable so let me add this time in the curly brace and see what happened so i can use the curly braces and yep apple red i got the value 
So always try to call variable value with curly braces, right? The next point is a special variable. Linux, Unix have special variables that are used internally by the shell and are variable to all and are available to all users. Many kind of special variable are available in bash and they have their own meaning. You can go with man reference for much more information about the variable and their types like man bash. Everything is there. What is the meaning of bash and single quotes, double quotes, arguments, comment, uh, system variable, global variable, special variable. You can take the reference from here. Let me go some very common and useful special variable. The first one is echo dollar zero. This will show the file name of the current script. Currently, I am on shell, I am on bash shell, so that's we represent the bash. The second one is echo dollar question mark, right? Where's my question mark? Here it is. So basically, it will return the exit status of the last command that was executed, right? For example, I run the date command. I want to figure out that is right command or wrong command. What was the output I'm getting that the execution, the execution of that command was right or wrong. So how we can check that one? Uh, the exit status of command is a numerical value that is written after the execution of the command. This numerical value indicate whether the command was executed successfully or not. Moreover, exit status can indicate different types of error thrones, but in case of the command was not executed successfully, it will show some different value. So overall, if you're getting zero, that indicates success. And if you get non-zero value, that is failure. So if I type echo dollar question mark, you can notice I got zero. It means my last command execution was successful. Let me try to go with some wrong pattern or wrong command. And now you can see echo dollar question mark, I'm getting non-zero value. Here 127 indicate the error code for the command not found, right? That was the error code. Another example, another special variable example is echo twice dollar. This will represent the process ID of my current shell. So 5523, that's my current process ID. So this above command write the process ID of current shell. That is very important for some use cases. I will demonstrate in upcoming videos in where we can use this kind of special variable. Now let's try to make two shell scripts. For one for demonstrate system defined variable, how we can call up in the shell script, and another one how to use user defined variable. So let me go system.sh file, right? So I'll go on my notepad. I have created a small script for you. Let me copy and paste and try to explain. Here it is. Okay. So here I mentioned few system variable with its meaning. The first line is shebang. This is known as shebang line and indicate that the script should be interrupted using by the bash shell. And second line, I use commit out, right? Second line is committed. Commit can be added to the end of any command or they can be typed on a line by themselves. Commits are denoted with the number hash, right? right? So once some, when something is committed, it means it will never read it by the Linux itself until unless we are not uncommitted by simply removing hash. Let me try to explain. Suppose I save and quit. If I run the command date hi, this will this uh, the, uh, hi, this is this is your current u double r e n t current date. If I go like this, it will give me error because after that date command, it will show it will check either it is option or argument, right? Which is a default syntax. So I can use it date and say hash. That's it. Hey, don't read it. Whatever it is mentioned after the hash. I got the result. Same kind of pattern I can use inside the uh, file also, right? So here, this line will not readable by the system. Okay. Now, uh, second, this is I am just echoing. This is the print. It, this is the example of system variables. And echo only echo. This is for the blank line. If you want to just give the blank line, just mention echo. Then echo bash. It prints my the location of bash. Then user, print the name of the current user, print the home directory, bash version, print the bash version, print the current working directory, then path, print the path of my current working directory of the shell script, dollar zero shell special variable which show my script name. So this time dollar zero indicate my shell script name which is system.sh. And again, echo dollar zero, that is another special variable which return the exit status of my script execution. Even in upcoming section, I can also define our own exit status. We can also define it. 
let me try to save it quit and make it executable permission ch mode plus x now let's try to run the moment i press enter you can see i get the result hi there is the example of system variable the bash root root version current directory the path variable my script name and your script request status is so this is the example of system variable same in the same pattern we can go with user defined variable so i say user dot sh user dot sh and i create one more very small for you like again go with this and you can paste it even if you want to define exit status here you can just type e x i t exit is equal to 110 so now i just mentioned my exit status 110 if if i'm going to execute the script and execute execution was successful if i go with equal to a question mark that new value will be 110 if it is right right this is the meaning of that one so you can define your own custom script value exit status here on the basis of this value we can also take the conditional structure which will be coming in upcoming sessions right so here uh, this is the user defined variable again for the blank line the first variable name is first name ram last name is Shusha. echo my name is dollar first name dollar last name and then i define my custom exit status which is 110 save and quit give the permission ch mode plus x plus x now try to run user dot sh see this is my my name is Ram Mishra. Now I want to verify that was right or wrong. Execution was okay or not. I can go eco dollar question mark. This time value should be 110. Yeah, I was the same expecting one. So guys, this is how you can define your local variable. You can also go with the global variable, system defined variable, make a script and use it. This is very, very important for the variables. So in upcoming session, we will come, we will configure our own variable. We will take some value from the system itself and we will use to make a write a proper shell script. But I hope today you got the idea how, what is a variable and how to use it, right? Because that's all about this demo in the variable. Hopefully you enjoyed and learn new things. Soon I will come up with another interesting topic. Till then keep practicing. If you feel something I have missed, you wanted to know more something else, please reach out through my social media link, which is mentioned in the description. If you like this video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe and my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.